Alright, so we got an Arab man gets on an airplane, starts speaking Arabic, and gets kicked off the plane. Or so we're told. That's the story we're being told. That's how that's what we're being told. He got on the plane. He was talking to his friend in Arabic. The white people got scared. Ooh. And then they called, you know, boom. They hit that button. Boom. Speaking Arabic. That guy over there. That guy right there. He's speaking Arabic. I think he's up to something. We'll get him out of here. We're going to get him out of here. Thank you. I'm scared. Me too. I'm really scared. So am I. That's what we're told how it went down, right? That's the narrative they're pushing. That's what we're told. But wait a minute. Wait just a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But my bullshit. The ding, 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 ding. The bullshit detector's going off. The bullshit detector's going off. Because when you dig into this guy, you find out. You find out he's a YouTuber. And you find out that he's made multiple videos on airplanes trying to provoke a reaction, trying to scare people into reacting to him, into calling someone and getting him kicked off the plane. He's made multiple videos like this. He has a video where he's counting backwards from 10 in Arabic on an airplane while wearing turbans and shit. Now, I was talking about this on Twitter, and somebody said, Smokey, that's racist. How can you, I mean, what's wrong with wearing a turban? What's wrong with speaking Arabic? Nothing's wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. And if he was kicked off that plane solely because he was speaking Arabic, that is wrong. Make no mistake, that is wrong. We should not, we should not accept stuff like that. But, that video he made where he's counting backwards from 10 in Arabic, and he's got the turban on, let's pull our heads out of our asses, okay? Can we pull them out? Pull them out. Let me help you. Get that head out of your ass, all right? You got shit all over your face. Wipe it off, okay? Wipe it off and just listen. Just shut up for a minute and listen to what I got to tell you. Listen. When this guy did that video, he was trying to scare people. He wanted to scare the passengers into giving him the reaction that he wanted to make that video go viral so he could get paid for it. That is as simple as that. That is what he did by making that video. That was his sole purpose. Don't buy this shit of, oh, I'm spreading awareness. I'm spreading awareness of what Muslim people have to deal with. Because I got news for you, asshole. Muslim people, regular Muslim everyday people, don't get on airplanes and go, 10, 9, Eight, seven. That's something called suspicious activity. What are you doing? You think if a white guy got on an airplane and went 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, you don't think people would be like, what the fuck? Hey, man, what are you doing, bro? You don't think you'd see some panicked passengers just because he's a white guy? As if white guys don't go fucking ape shit and kill people all the fucking time. I've said this many times, crazy assholes come in all shapes and sizes, all different shades of the rainbow. They all, you know, you can have black nut jobs, white nut jobs, fucking brown nut jobs. They all, you know, whatever you want to call the Asians. I guess they call them yellow people. I don't fucking know. All shades. All shades. Just because a guy's in a turban and he's speaking Arabic, don't mean he gonna blow anything up. He probably just wants to go home, watch Breaking Bad, and eat some fucking ruffles, just like your white ass. But that guy doesn't get on a plane and go, 10, 9, he sits his ass down, and he minds his business, just like everybody else, all the other normal fucking people on the earth. Majority of us, that's what we do. But assholes like this guy like to get on the plane and fuck with people so he can get clicks for his fucking videos. So he can get some fucking YouTube money, which is the only reason he's fucking doing it. This asshole has been caught multiple times faking videos just like this. He got caught a few years ago. This article's going around where he faked a, a hate crime. He faked this is a video of Islamophobia. He faked it. He was just caught the other day. He said he put himself in a fucking suitcase and and uh, got put on a plane. Like his friends put him in a suitcase and put him on a plane. And that was proven to be bullshit. The airline actually came out and showed him a video of him boarding the plane. Because 
obviously, that makes them look bad, that a man was in a bag and was able to be put on a plane, which is total bullshit, because that's not going to happen. I mean, really? Has that ever happened? Has a guy crammed himself in a suitcase and been put in a fucking airplane in the luggage area? Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. I'm not buying that shit. You know how cold? Apparently, it gets really fucking cold down there. And you're fucking going to... You could die. Actually, there was a story. Remember that story of that guy that got inside the wheel of the plane? He was like, he was there the whole trip. There was that story. But I've never heard of a story of a guy putting himself in a suitcase and getting, you know, getting past all that security. Don't those things go through those x-ray scanners and shit? You don't think they see that shit? Like, there's a dude in there. Of course it's bullshit. And the airline actually had to come out and expose this guy because he was telling everybody that he did it. He's a known hoaxer. He's a guy that pulls pranks all the fucking time. Now, I'm not saying that this didn't happen. I don't know what happened. I wasn't on the plane. But it's important to know who we're talking about here. It's important to look at the history of this guy. Instead of just preaching that everybody's a racist on this plane. All oh, those fucking white people. Oh, fuck you, white people. What's, what's wrong with these white motherfuckers? You know, I remember after 9-11. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe y'all remember this as well. But I remember all these black comedians making all these jokes about how, you know, my ass would have been on that plane. Shit. Mm. Motherfucker would have got his ass beat. Motherfucker would have got his ass beat if I'd have been on that plane. I remember all that. All the black people, you know, if we'd have been on that plane, boy, ain't going down like that with me on that plane. Ain't going down. He got a box cutter. I'm beating the brakes off that motherfucker. I'll take that box cutter and shove it up his ass. But hey, white people are racist. Right. I remember black people making jokes. All the black comedians making jokes about the Muslims on the planes. You know? Gotta keep an eye on that motherfucker. You know? They used to watch our black asses. Now they're watching them. And they should. They fucking should. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just imagined that shit. I don't know. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while. But that's the problem with a lot of these kids today. They didn't live through that shit, man. So they don't understand why people get worried when when people start acting weird on a plane if you get on a plane and you're white and you say the word bomb you think they're just gonna let it slide because you're white because you got white privilege is that what you think i got news for you you're getting your ass tackled you're getting your ass cuffed up the passengers if you're in mid-flight the passengers probably gonna take your ass and duct tape you to a fucking seat i've seen that shit before and it was a white woman they duct tape that ass to the seat bah! white woman or a white guy and they duct tape that ass to the seat. Why? Because 9-11 happened. And now people realize when people start acting weird on planes, you got to watch them. Because you might die. But you, some of you are so worried about being labeled a racist, you, you could be getting stabbed by a motherfucker. Oh, you know, you know. Hey, man. I'm not going to say anything. He's stabbing me to death, you know. <laughs> You know, some of you are just goofy, man. You're so worried about being labeled a fucking racist. And you know what that tells me? That inside, deep inside, you don't, you're not sure. You're not sure if you are racist or not. See, I'm sure of myself. I know I'm not a racist. I don't judge people based on their race or their religion or whatever. Well, some of these religions, I, some of these, I mean, these Scientologists, give me a fucking break. The religion's a whole nother story. But even I don't, I don't, I don't see Muslims. I seen this Muslim couple in the store the other day. They had a baby. They were shopping. I wasn't concerned. I wasn't like, oh my fucking God, they're here. <laughs> I wasn't in panic because they're just normal people. They're just shopping. But like I said, if the dude would have stopped in the middle of the fucking chip aisle and just went 10, 9, 8, 7, I'm out of there. I'm running. I'm not going to stand there and go, you know what? If I ran away, I'm going to look like a racist. He's counting down. What is he counting down? That's not normal behavior. Normal people just don't start counting down. What are you counting down to? Boom. That's what usually happens at the end of the countdown. Boom. <laughs> the only time it's acceptable to start counting down just randomly is New Year's Eve. Ten, nine. If, you, if it's New Year's Eve and it's about to strike midnight and a dude's counting down, you can go... Eight, you count with him. Seven, six, 
five. Yeah, New Year's, baby. Woo! It's another year. Same old bullshit. I don't know why we're celebrating, but it's another year. <sighs> Y'all so worried about being called a goddamn racist. You'll die. Look at the shit over there in Europe. Look at that shit in Germany. Look at that shit. You know? And the, it's like, well, you know, we... You know, it's, it's, it is a complex issue. It is a very complicated issue. You know, I wouldn't want to be in that position of power trying to figure all that out. On one hand, you have refugees, and you they can all be bad, right? Common sense tells you these, not, these people aren't all bad. They're not all bad. But there are some bad people in there. And there are some terrorist sympathizers, some ISIS dudes in the group as well. And you see that by all these terrorist attacks. So it's a very complex, complicated issue. I don't know how you fucking solve it, but I tell you the way to solve it isn't just to go, ah, fuck it. Just deal with it. We'll just put up with it, you know. I don't know how you solve it. I'll tell you one way. I'll tell you one thing you can do, and Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump said this. Both of them said this exact same thing in the debate. They just said it in different ways. Good Muslim people have to stand up against this shit. They have to stand up against this. Okay, the reason that there are people that are scared of Muslims is because there are Muslims in this world that blow themselves up, that stab people, that run people over with trucks. It's always a Muslim guy doing this shit most of the time. Yeah, we got some crazy nuts. Yeah, they're crazy white people that blow the, the, the Dylan roofs and things like this. I'm not saying that doesn't exist, but let's pull our heads out of our asses here. Let's stop pretending that they're... Why, why are people scared of, the, of Muslims? What the fuck? What planet are y'all living on, bruh? What planet are you living on? That you wonder why people would think a guy counting down to from 10 on a plane wearing a turban, why anybody would be scared of that? Well, oh, that's so weird that you would be fearful of that. What the fuck are you talking about? And like I said, if it was a white guy doing it, you, you should be... Fuck, I'd be scared too. The fuck are you doing? I just, it's a very complex issue. It is. It is. And the answer is not to round all the Muslims up and put them in a fucking camp somewhere or deport them. That's not the answer. There are good Muslim people. There are Muslim people living in this country and other countries. They're not going to hurt anybody. They don't want to hurt anybody. The guy in the desert, he's a cool guy. He's not going to kill anybody. I'd hang out with that guy. You know what the real problem is? Is that people don't talk to each other. That's really what it is. You know, it's just like all these black people blaming white, you know, the white devil, all white people are evil. That's nonsense. That's very racist. But they, they you see this all the time. They're just spewing it, spewing it. Other white people are spewing it as well. What's the difference between saying that all Muslims are terrorists? And all white people are evil. What is the difference? It's the same shit. All black people are thugs. It's the same goddamn shit. But it's acceptable to say it about white people, but not about black people. Not about Muslims. It's all bullshit, though. It's all, all three of those things are wrong. They're all wrong. You know how many Muslims? There's like a billion Muslims in the world. They're all terrorists. They all gonna blow themselves up. If you believe that, you're a fucking idiot. You really are stupid. If you believe that all black people are thugs who are going to rob you and they're smoking crack and shit and their pants are sagging down to their ankles, you're an idiot. If you believe all white people are racist and want to bring back slavery and segregation and all this shit, you're a fucking idiot. Okay? You're an idiot. But like I said, there are bad people in each bunch. There are bad people. There are black thugs. There are racist, shitty white guys. There are Muslims who blow themselves up in the middle of a supermarket. This is reality. And we're not going to dance around it in 2000. I'm not dancing around it. This is what it is. So you can call me a racist because I know I'm not. So that doesn't bother me. You could say, somebody was on Twitter earlier, ah, you're racist, you're racist, ah. I'm not a racist. So you continue to spew your bullshit, doesn't affect me one bit. Doesn't affect me one bit, because I know who I am. I know who I am. You may not know who you are, 
and some people don't. Some people really don't. They, they, they get hung up on. Somebody calls them a racist. They're like, oh my god, I'm not. A, what, what? What? Well, are you a racist or not? Are you? Did did the person take what you said the wrong way? If so, fuck them. You know, you're free to explain yourself, you know, hey, man, you took it the wrong way. This is what I really meant. You know, you took it the wrong way. Or you can just go, you know what, go fuck yourself if you're just going to call me a racist, you know, because that's not even what I meant. I don't even see how you can jump to that conclusion. I don't know, man. But with that, with that, with what's going on in Europe, I don't, I don't know how you solve it. It just, and I don't live over there, so I don't know, man, you know. You hear things that are going on over there, you don't know. That's the problem with the with the news. What the fuck do you believe? What do you believe? I mean, you get the fake news, but, you know, I, I realize, you know, the Washington Post wrote this article about me. That I trolled Robin Williams' daughter. Total bullshit. Total bullshit. But they put it on their website. I had to email the woman and threaten to sue her. To get her to change her article, to put in her article that I not did not participate in this. I threatened to sue the woman because she was slandering me and making shit up about me in a little article. All the info came from some 14-year-old troll on the internet. Give me a break, lady. So when I, when I went through that, I realized that you can't trust anything. You can't trust the Washington Post. You can't trust the goddamn fucking info wars. They're all, sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. Okay? Sometimes Alex Jones hits the nail on the head, and sometimes he's batshit crazy. And sometimes the Washington Post hits the nail on the head, and sometimes they're full of shit. It's like Denzel Washington said, what'd he say? Look up that video of Denzel Washington talking about this fake news. If you don't read the news, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Correct. Fucking correct, man. Sometimes you'll never know what really happened. You'll never know. But we'll find out what happened on this fucking plane. We will find out what really happened. And from what I'm hearing, it's a little bit of a mixture of both. See, apparently, he was talking in Arabic to his friend. And this is an eyewitness account, which take it with a grain of salt, because maybe somebody made this shit up, I don't know. But this is what I read, that he was talking to his friend. And he was speaking in Arabic. And somebody got offended by that. Some racist asshole got a little bent out of shape about the Arabic. So he instigated the situation by getting louder and doing it louder. So what it looks like to me is this guy saw an opportunity and he took it. He saw an opportunity to really stir shit up and pull his camera out and start filming. He's been trying to get kicked out of planes. He's got multiple videos where he's trying to get kicked out of a fucking plane. He's trying to provoke a reaction because he realizes if he gets kicked off a plane, viral. He goes viral. He gets paid. Wake up, people. Think about it. Come on, man. You know how this YouTube shit works. You know the more views, the more money. This is good for him. This is good for him because... Even if he's lying, people still gonna side with him. People don't even care. They'll still side with him. Because, I don't know, man. Facts don't matter anymore. I just like the truth. I just like the truth. I just want the truth. I, I'm fully aware that not all Muslims are terrorists. So just tell me the truth. Tell me the truth of what's going on in Europe. Do I gotta go talk to people in Europe to figure out what's going on? I mean, we can see from the news in Germany, some shit's going on. Some shit, some serious shit is going on. When I see the, whatever they call her, chancellor or president, whatever they call that woman over there that runs Germany, I seen a video of her. Someone was trying to hand her a German flag so she could wave the German flag around and she took the German flag and like threw it down. And then she's just like, like, what is that? What is that? Why are you doing that? This, ain't that weird? Wouldn't that be weird if Barack Obama took the American flag and was just like, pitched it on the ground, starting? Wouldn't you think that's a little weird? That's weird to me. What's going on, man? What's really going on in this world? 
I feel like we're on the verge of finding out some crazy shit, man. That this Donald Trump shit is just going to really stir the pot up and it's gonna, we're going to learn some shit that's going to blow our minds in the next couple of months. I got this feeling that we're going to have our minds blown. And we're all just going to be sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So much weird fucking shit, dude. All that WikiLeaks shit where they're into the the Democrats are into the spirit cooking, and then that pizza shit, which I don't even fucking know. Damn, who fucking knows what the fuck they're talking about? They're obviously not talking about fucking pizza. Are they talking about drugs? Are they talking about fucking little boys? Fuck, I don't know what the fuck's happening, dude. Jesus Christ. You know, if you live in Germany, if you live in this in these countries over here, what's going on over there? Because over here, we're hearing that the Muslims are just, and, and I know that's bullshit. I know that not every one of those refugees is a bad person. I know that. That's an absurd way to look at things, to think every one of those people is a terrorist. But let's pull our head over our asses and realize some of them are. Some of them snuck in here. But I got news for y'all. They gonna get in either way. That's what y'all fail to realize. You, you're so freaked out about them letting all those refugees in. They're going to get in. The terrorists are going to get in. They're going to get in. Remember the 9-11 hijackers? They, they were here on visas. They got in. They didn't sneak across. Correct me if I'm wrong. They didn't sneak across the border. They got in legally. So, you don't got to sneak in, man. These motherfuckers know what they're doing, man. They know how to get in this country, and then they wait. And they wait to their moment, and then they strike. You know, it was funny, though, seeing them... Uh, when that when that truck happened, truck attack happened in Berlin the other day, and they were like, uh, I, I I heard the, uh, I swear they call her a chancellor. She was like, man, it would sure be disappointing if it turned out to be one of these immigrants. And it's like, come on, lady, man, come on, man. And here's the thing about these terrorists that they don't tell you that these right wing websites don't tell you some of the biggest targets. Are Muslim people themselves. The, the, the Muslim people are being terrorized by ISIS. That's what they don't want to tell you on InfoWars and all these other little right wing and Fox News because it doesn't fit with their narrative. See, everybody's got a narrative. I just want to know the truth. That's all I want to know. I just want to know what's really going on. Hard to find out these days. But Muslim people are being attacked by these nut jobs as well. So, Stop attacking all Muslims and treating them all like they're terrorists because they're getting terrorized as well. Okay? Understand that shit. I mean, goddamn. It's, it's just, like I said, it's a complex issue, man. It's a very con. There's a lot going on with all this shit. You know? And when the people say, you know, when the people on the left say, we can't judge all Muslims based on the actions of a few, I say yes. But at the same time, the same people on the left say, all white people are evil based on slavery and ba you know you know you, you can't have it both ways you you really can't you know it's bullshit man you can't you can't have it both ways man but they 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 want to have it both ways stop attacking all white people for slavery none of us alive today ever owned a damn slave okay and if you think white people are the only race of people throughout history to ever own slaves, you're stupid. And you should look some things up and do some research. Because other races have owned fucking slaves. Slavery was wrong. How many times we got to say it? On behalf of all white people, slavery was wrong. Okay? Now there are a few nut jobs who think we should have slavery again and that was a good thing. Those people are retarded. We don't have to pay attention to those people. Why? Ask yourself this. Why does the media pay attention to those nut jobs so damn much? Why do they only pay attention? Think about it. Why do the right-wing websites only show you the bad Muslims? Because it fits their narrative. Why do you think the left-leaning websites only show you the racist white people? Because it fits the goddamn narrative. It's all bullshit, man. God, it's all bullshit. Makes me sick, for real. And you got guys like this YouTuber who think it's funny. You're part of the problem. Because you're, 
you're, you're, you're, what's the word I'm looking for? You're playing into that stereotype. When you're putting the turban on and sitting on the plane and going, 10, 9, 8. I know you think you're being funny, but you're not helping anything. You're not helping. Because even though it's a prank, even though it's a prank, those white people you scared on that plane, and you didn't just scare white people. Anybody on that plane is going to be looking at you. Black people, anyone's going to look at you. You're liable to get your ass whooped, for real. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, I got kicked off the plane. You get on a plane with the wrong motherfuckers, you're going to get your ass whooped. Trust on that. you going to get beat up one day, fucking around. you go going to run into some big motherfucker who's like, fuck you, dude. Bam, he's going to bitch slap shit at you. Fuck are you doing? He's going to realize you're fucking with him, and then he's going to beat your ass. So good luck with that shit. But those people you scare on that plane, and then you go, it's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. They look at you, and they go, you're a fucking asshole, man. You're a fucking asshole. And you just reinforce what they feel about Muslims. You're just reinforcing it. That's all you're doing. You're reinforcing it. Like, yeah, he didn't have a bomb, but... He's such an asshole. Why was he trying to scare me? What the? What's so funny about that? He, making me think I'm going to die in a, in, a, in a plane crash, in a plane explosion. What, why is that funny? I don't think it's funny at all. Fuck this guy. See? You see what I mean? Are you getting what I mean? Is my point coming across? If you took what I said the wrong way, I go fuck yourself. That's your goddamn problem. Because, I mean, it's just common sense, man. It's just common sense that... A billion people can all be terrorists. If every Muslim was a terrorist, the world would already have exploded. <laughs> I mean, we'd all be dead by now. If every white guy was a racist, there would only be white people on the planet. There'd be no black people or nothing. We would already eradicate everybody. If every white guy was Adolf fucking Hitler like y'all act like. If every black guy was a thug, I mean, they'd be every store would be looted every day. They'd just be fucking a mob of black people just looting shit every day. That's not how it is. It's just not how it is, man. But y'all can keep pretending it is, keep being racist. You know, there's there's racists on it. You know, I, I know that it's it's impossible to be racist towards white people. That's a load of shit. Anybody can be a racist. And that's that. That's simple as that. So, whatever, you can argue with me all day. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And as far as this guy and this story... We'll see what happens. We'll see. The, the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out about this. And uh, here's the thing. If he is telling the truth, the reason nobody believes him and, it, and the reason people are questioning him is because he has a history of faking shit like this. So that's why nobody believes him. And there was a story that came out the other day. Okay? Be up there in a minute. There was a story that came out the other day. And it was about this guy. You, know, you hear about all these swastikas being written on everything, right? The swastikas. The Trump supporters are writing swastikas on everything. Well, there was a story that came out the other day where they caught the guy doing it. They caught a guy writing swastikas all over this college campus. Guess who it was. Take a guess who it was. It wasn't a white Trump supporter. It wasn't a black guy. It was a fucking Muslim dude. That's who it was. A Muslim dude. And I'm sure when these swastikas were getting writ everywhere, I'm sure when there were swastikas everywhere, that everyone was blaming the Trump supporters. They were blaming the white man. They were blaming the Nazi. But it was a Muslim guy. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you should judge all Muslims based on this one guy. I'm just trying to point out that just because... It looks like one thing. Understand that there are people that fake shit all the time. So when you hear about swastikas everywhere or a hate crime, you have to question it. I'm sorry, but this is the world we live in. I'm not sorry, actually. This is the world we live in. This is reality. You have to question every single one of these instances because time after time, it's a hoax. So you've got to question them every time. Anyway, that's the video. Peace.